Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at proving two vectors are equal. Now two vectors are equal if they have the same magnitude, which means the same length, and the same direction. So let's look at some examples. We've got two vectors and they're the same length, but they don't have the same direction. These two vectors have the same direction, but not the same length versus the third situation, both of these vectors are the same length and the same direction. Therefore, the two vectors are equal to each other. So how can we determine if two vectors are equal? We first have to find their magnitude or their length. So we're going to look at vector A and vector B. Okay, vector A is in standard position which means the beginning point is at the origin and the terminal point is at the point negative 4, 12. So let's first find the magnitude. To find the magnitude, that's the length, so we're going to use the distance formula. So the distance formula is the square root of negative 4 minus 0 squared plus negative, uh, 12 minus 0 squared, which is really just the Pythagorean theorem. So we're going to get the square root of 4 squared plus 12 squared. So that's 16 plus 144, and that gives us a square root of 160. And we can simplify that, but for now, I'm just going to leave it as a square root of 160. Now, let's find the magnitude of vector B. It has an initial point at 7, negative 6, and a terminal point at 3, 6. So let's find the distance. Find the distance. We're going to take the terminal minus the initial. So let's take the terminal point. The x-coordinate is 3, and we're going to subtract 7. We're going to square that for the distance formula. And then we're going to take 6 minus a negative 6, which is terminal minus initial. So what is that distance? Well, that's negative 4 quantity squared plus 12 squared. And again, we get... 16 plus 144, all under the radical, which gives us a square root of 160. So we can say that these two have the same magnitude, that they're equal. Now we need to look at direction. So how do you find the direction of um, of the vector. And what you're going to do is you're going to kind of plot each position and let's see if we can figure this out. So we're going to start with vector A. It's in the position from 0, 0, negative 4, and positive 12. So we need to know what this angle theta is with the position negative 4, positive 12. To find that theta, we're going to use tangent. So the tangent of theta is equal to the, from this angle, your opposite over your adjacent. So 12 over negative 4. So basically, we're taking the tangent theta what gives us negative 3? So we're going to use our calculator. So let's grab our calculator. And we're going to take the inverse tangent to find an angle of negative 3. And that angle is negative 71.5. That's what our theta is. And we'll talk about how that actually, what direction that actually is. Okay, so there's our first step. Let me double check that 
calculation. Uh, it actually should be five, six or six. Let me just round that off to the tenths more accurately. And then let's look at the second one. Okay, the second vector um, starts at seven, negative six. So let's look at that position. Okay, positive seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, negative six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's our position, that's the initial. And the terminal is at the point three, six. So positive three, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just going to plot that so we can see the resultant vector. Okay, so what is our angle? There is our angle. So let's look first at the x direction. So this is at 7 and this is at 3. So this side is 4. And then what is our y direction? Well, this is negative 6 and that's positive 6. So this side is 12. So how do we find this angle theta? We're going to take the tangent of theta and we're going to write that as 12 over negative 4 because we went back 4 and then up 12. So that indeed is the tangent theta of negative 3. So how do we find that? We use our inverse tangent of negative 3 to find theta. And we just type that in our calculator. We know that's negative 71.6. And we can say they do have the same direction. So what can we say about these two vectors? We have just proved that they are indeed congruent. So or equal to each other. So what do we do? Whenever you do a proof, you always make a statement. Um, so vector A and vector B are equal because their magnitudes, magnitudes, are both, what do we say the magnitude was? Square root 160. And their direction are both negative 71.6 degrees. Now, let's talk about that direction for just one second. The direction is written as calculated on the calculator as negative 71. But what I want you to think about is the fact that this is in quadrant two. So the angle that we're actually going to talk about for the direction comes off the x-axis. So if this is this, this uh, reference angle is actually the absolute value of that direction. So what I want you to think about is what would this theta, what would the true angle be for that um, vector? You would then take eight, 180 and you would subtract 71.6 from that and that would give you the direction of the vector. So let's grab our calculators and let's take 180 and let's subtract 71.6. And that gives us the direction of 108. So the actual direction of the vector is 108.4. And that's the direction of the vector that has a magnitude of 160. So we're going to say this was, what was that, 108.6? Our point four is actually the direction of the vector. So I hope this video was helpful on showing you how to prove that two vectors are equal.